Ciao, and welcome back to Upper Michigan Today. We are here with Nathan Molesky, the Director of Operations with Focus Restaurant Concepts. Yep. I said it right this yes. time. And uh, the that that group just made a pretty big acquisition with the, the acquiring of um, Mama Russo's. Yeah. So that's what brings you here today. We're going to be talking about meatballs. But first, we want to talk more about that purchase and what it means for Mama Russo's. Uh, nothing really, <laughs> other than we're in charge of it now. Um, John and Jean retired, and mm -hmm. so we stepped in, um, and we're con carrying on the tradition of what they've been doing this whole time. So not a whole lot of changes other than just little things inside mm -hmm. the, the physical plant. Um, recipes are all the same. Uh, we're looking to expand the menu for catering and that stuff in the future. It is a big change, though, for your restaurant group. I mean, to add a whole other concept to Border Grill, to uh, the Yoop Coop. Yeah. I mean, how have you been able to kind of grasp and hang on to that and make it m mingle with what you already have? So part of it was is we do a commissary kitchen through the Border Grill and Yoop Coop. So some of the sauces are already being made off site and then shipped into the stores with multiple locations. This gives us a bigger kitchen to do that. Mm -hmm. So a lot of that production has moved into basically the, the Mama Russo's plant. So all of our border salsa is made at the plant. Now, what used to take six runs of border, we can do in a single run in the 240 wow. gallon kettle. So it's yeah. streamlining what you already yeah, do. It's, it's, there's some synergy. So yeah. um, we're able to still do border grill stuff out of there and, u and utilize that kettle and then do all the meat sauce and all that stuff also out of Mama Russo's. Hey, I love that. Yep. More border salsa, more meatballs. Yep. More meatballs, more border <laughs> salsa, more bolognese sauce. I'm a big all of fan. It. All, yeah. of it. Yep. all right, well, we wanted to have you on just to find out what you all were up to, but also because T and I probably three times a week talk about meatballs and we need yeah. to put an end to it. Yeah. And the best way to do that is to just get our fix. Yep. Once and for all. And we have meatballs. And to right. learn for ourselves that's, how to make that's them. That's right. Yeah. We're in a chicken parmesan meatball, which okay. isn't really what we do um, normally. Generally our meatballs, pork and beef. Um, we run it through the grinder and then back into the hopper to mix. And then we actually use like a large, what we do just for the stuffing, for the, the sausages. And somebody sits there and carves little meatballs as they come out of the tube. Really? And then they go on a sheet pan, they're roasted in the oven, and then we, we cook it off in our own special sauce. So, ah. but Parmesan, this is one we do at home quite a bit. Um, so this is a this is a Nathan specialty. Yeah. So this is, we're gonna use ground chicken. Go ahead and throw that in there. Should we, we take a break? Should we take a break okay. and then this get into it when we come back? Yeah. Okay. All right. Pause. We'll be right back. <laughs> 